Look, I'm sorry it happened this way. As long as you get your arm, right? Best get. Get your armor patched up in here. Extra bed rolls if you need them. Piss buckets in the corner where it's always fucking been. Long time since we had a piss bucket. I spent two years trying to get where I am now. Don't fuck this up for me, Asher. Nail! We got two more! It's not your leg that's a problem, Roderick. You've got to be practical. Welcome. You want to take Griff down next time? You want to stop lying in the mud and letting people walk all over you? You're speaking to your lord, Sir Roylan. He can fight his own battles. You know why he had to stay down. Even so, it set a precedent. Look at me, Roylan. I can barely hold this damn thing, much less swinging. So... You're gonna give up, then? There are other ways to fight, my lord. You can't handle a sword like you used to. So find another advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something unexpected. Like what? I'll show you. Come at me. Bring your opponent down to your level. When I attack you, drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my knee. Wait for me to attack. Roderick! Let's try it again. Almost. Again. Now that's how you do it. <laughs> I think you let me. Oh. <sighs> My lord, sorry to interrupt. Elena? She insisted on seeing you immediately. Lady Elena, I'm sorry to hear we won't be sisters. Talia. Roderick, can I speak with you? Few Privately. Left. I was kind of hoping you guys would have filled him in. But you remember my little brother? Done, really. Quiver! Never mind. Good gods, you've grown. You could just call me Arthur now. I hope you don't mind us coming unannounced. But something's happened. I didn't know what else to do. Maybe this was a bad idea. I've missed you, Elena. <laughs> I've missed you too. Truth be told. You're the only one I can turn to. Lord Whitehill paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. He told my father Griff had subdued you and... And that my sister would make a fine reward. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean... He demanded I marry his son, Griff. What? Lord threatened my family. Told my father if he refused, would be slaughtered along with you. Father acted the damn coward. He agreed, Roderick. I, will, I am to marry Griff Whitehill. I won't be speaking that as much arrogant as I'm trying to pig -eyed this prick. As as you. Griff sits in my great hall and acts like the king of bloody Westeros. You can't marry him. Do you think I want to marry that disgusting pig? But my father won't listen. I'm not going to be the bone they throw that howling dog. I'm not going to be some prize for him to rip open. We have to get rid of him. I can't think of any other way. My father won't see reason. 
Lord Whitehill's made up his mind, and so have I. It's time someone brought Griff down. We were hoping you'd say that. You brought your men. I command Father's elite guard. These men are trained archers, swordsmen, experts in both ranged and close combat. They're yours. If you'll help us take down Griff. The whole guard? Twenty men. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the Reach. What do you have to lose, Roderick? Griff has been a nightmare for you and your house. You can't have any reason to keep him around. This could help both of us. Why he'll still have my little brother? If I hurt Griff, there's no telling what they'll do to Ryan. I understand your worry, Roderick. I don't want Ryan hurt any more than you do. I know this might sound mad, but it's the only way. Get rid of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. You can finally take control of your house again. Please, promise me you'll do this. I love you, Roderick. I don't want Griff. I don't want any of this. I would be happy to. Thank you, Roderick. Griff won't even see it coming. My men are yours to command. Thank you, Quill. Arthur. Could you give us a moment? Now she comes. You don't know how much this means trouble, to me. Huh? I'm sorry I couldn't marry you before. Maybe when this is all over, we could play hide and seek in the grove again. Pretend we're still children. Forget all that's happened these last few years. I'd like that very much, Elena. Then you know where to find me. Welcome. As I said to the previously, I won't be talking as much as it's my first time through. I want to enjoy it just as much as you guys. So I'll be muting my uh, mic again. Thanks for coming. Can't believe it's another coronation already. Our kings just get younger and younger. Tommen's not ready. He's too soft. <laughs> Maybe that was the imp's plan. I wonder if Marjorie Tyrell will be there today. You mean Queen Marjorie? She was married to Joffrey. Hmm. For all I of one hour. Marry his brother too. Not to I mention Cersei master. and Jaime. Shh. The Lannisters have spies everywhere. What is it, Tom? I remember that warning you'd heard from Roderick. About Whitehill's contact. Did you find anything? Only whispers. But your brother's right. Lud Whitehill. Lord Whitehill is sending a great deal of gold to someone here in King's Landing. He's definitely up to something. Something big. But I don't know what. That's all you found out? I already knew that much. It's the best I could do. The only people I'm even certain he deals with are those ironwood merchants. Lord Morgren and Lord Andros. They'll both be at the feast after Tommen's coronation today. Maybe you can learn something. I can't go. Marjorie's... She's not exactly happy with me right now. I've been uninvited. Couldn't Sarah help? Ask her to get you in. She'd do it, right? Don't handmaidens look out for each other? We are friends. I'm sure she'd help if I asked her. It's a good plan, then. It's nearly time. Just be careful, Lady Mira. King's Landing seems to have it in for you.
Hey, what are you doing out here? There's leftover honey cake in the kitchens. Have to guard this one. Locked him up in the old storeroom until morning. That the one who killed Brit? He's not going anywhere. Come on. Now you'll be back before anyone notices. All right. Maybe just a quick bite. He's likely to freeze to death out here anyway. Must be the latrine. I'm not sticking around to use it. Onions and crab apples. At least I won't starve to death. If I ever find a way out of here. That might be useful. I don't know what I expected. Oh, wood's rotten. This is all bloody useless. No one out there. to be executed in the morning. What about Finn? He told Nobody them... Nobody believes him, or don't want to. They think he's covering for you. Some are even saying he helped you do it. I have to get out of here. That's why I came. I want to help. Well, you'd be executed too. Why would you want to help me? I told you my secret. And you said you were my friend. But what kind of friend would I be if I left you to die here? So I'm getting you out of here. I don't want to hear any complaining. You're a good man. You know that. Don't go singing my praises just yet. I want you to take me with you. To the North Grove. You know I can't stay here. I'm leaving Castle Black. But I'd rather not go it alone. So if you're going north, I'm coming with you. Well, I'm not going anywhere unless I can get out of this bloody storeroom first. I can try and pick the lock, but I'm not sure it will work. Garrett, what are you doing? I'm getting out of here. Try to push it out. You pull, all right? I hope no one heard that. Hey, can you fit through? I think. 